Chapter 17th The Continent of Europe A Lesson for Self Study Area wise, Europe is the sixth continent in the world. It is located totally in the northern hemisphere. The political and cultural thought and the scientific research developed in Europe have influenced other countries in the world. The Industrial Revolution first took place in Europe in the 18th century. The snow-clad Alps mountain, beautiful coasts, churches, the Tower of Pisa, the Eiffel Tower and other places attract many tourists. We shall study this continent through the self-study method. Find the answers to the following questions with the help of maps and of your teachers. Location, Extent and Boundaries This continent extends between 34 degrees north and 71 degrees north latitudes and between 11 degrees west and 66 degrees east longitudes. See color figure 4 and answer the following. Number 1. List the continents and oceans surrounding this continent. Number 2. List the landlocked seas and find in which part of the continent they are located. Number 3. Considering the latitudinal extent of the continent, name the climatic belts in which this continent spreads. Physiography The Russian highlands are located in the center of this continent and these highlands are surrounded by extensive plains. In the northern part of the continent, Jolene Mountains are located. Ural Mountains are in the northeast. Caucasus Mountains are in the southeast. In the south are the ranges of Carpathian, Apennines and Alps Mountains. See color figure 4 and answer the following questions. Number 1. What physiographic region is seen between the northern and southern mountains? Number 2. In which direction does the Jolan mountain slope gently? Number 3. Write the names of four mountains from the continent along with the direction in which they spread. Number 4. List any five peaks from the continent along with their height in descending order. Number 5. In which part of the continent is the Black Forest Block Mountain located? Number 6. Name the three largest islands from this continent. Number 7. Where is the distance between the continents of Europe and Africa the least? Number 8. What name is given to the Danube River Plain surrounded by mountains? Rivers and Water Resources See Color Figure 4. Study the direction in which the following rivers flow. Prepare a table indicating the source region of the rivers and the seas they flow into. List of rivers Ural, Volga, Pekora, Danube, Oder, Rhine, Po and Rhone. Name any two rivers flowing through the North European plains. Number 3. Which rivers flow into the Gulf of Bothnia near the Scandinavian Peninsula? Number 4. As the rivers originating in the Scandinavian Peninsula are located between 60 degrees and 80 degrees north latitude, what could be their source, a spring, a lake or a circuit? Number 5. Which river flows between Central Massif and Jura Mountains? Number 6. Which river basin lies between the Alps and the Apennine Mountains? Number 7. Which river basin lies between the Volga Highlands and Ural Mountains? Number 8. Canals are used for water transport in Europe. Name any four of them. Number 9. In the northern part of Europe, large number of lakes are formed 
by the work of glaciers. Name any three of them. Climate See figure 17.2 showing the distribution of July temperatures and answer the following questions. Number 1. Which planetary winds blow from the west of this continent? Number 2. In which part of the continent are the temperatures below 10 degrees Celsius even during summer? Number 3. What is the mean temperature in the central region of plains? Number 4. In which part of the continent is the temperature more than 30 degrees Celsius? See figure 17.3 showing distribution of January temperature and answer the following. Number 1. Find, with the help of the index, the temperature of the southern part of the Scandinavian Peninsula. Number 2. What is the temperature in the northeastern parts? Number 3. If you travel from the northeast to the southwest, you will come across different temperature belts, that is, zones. What conclusions will you draw from them? Number 4. What is the temperature in the southern parts of the Iberian Peninsula? Number 5. Due to which type of ocean current is the temperature in the West European coastal region more than 5 degrees Celsius during winter? See figure 17.4 showing distribution of rainfall and answer the following questions. Number 1. In which direction does the rainfall in Europe decrease and why? Number 2. To which direction of Jolan Mountain does the rain shadow area lie? Number 3. Which are the places of the lowest and highest rainfall in Europe? Natural Resources Forest Resources See Color Figure 3 and answer the following questions. Number 1. Find the regions of alpine and coniferous forests in Europe. Account for their location. Number 2. Describe the sequence of forests from Barents Sea to Black Sea. Try to correlate this sequence with the distribution of rainfall. Use figure 17.4. Number 3. Which forest area in the continent you think is suitable for animal husbandry. Animal Resources See Color Figure 3 and answer the following questions. Number 1. Which types of fish are found in the seas around Europe? Name them. Number 2. What are the animals' food in the coniferous forests and the tundra forests in the extreme north? Number 3. In which type of forest are wolves and squirrels found? Number 4. In which type of forest are owl, adder and wild boar are found? Number 5. With the help of the distribution of animals shown in the map, prepare a food chain for any one type of forest in Europe. Soil Resources Tundra types of soils are found in the extreme northern parts of East Europe, Iceland and the mountainous regions of Scandinavia. These soils are acidic and the proportion of nutrients required for plant growth is quite low in them. Podzol soils are found in the extensive areas to the south of the tundra region. These are developed in the regions of coniferous forests. These are also acidic soils. In the south and southeastern part of the continent, brown soils are found. These are developed in the broadleaf forests. They contain sufficient amount of hummus. Therefore, these soils are considered to be fertile soils. In the eastern and southeastern Europe, Chernozem and chestnut type of soils are found. Both these soils are developed in grassland areas and they are fertile soils. The area to the north of the Caspian Sea 
has solonids types of soils. These have high proportion of salts. In the northern, northeastern and southern mountainous parts of Europe, mountain soils are found. The thickness of these soils is quite low. On an outline map of Europe, show the distribution of soils in Europe. Make use of the above description for this. Mineral Resources See figure 17.7 .7 and answer the following questions. Number 1. In which sea do you find the maximum reserves of oil and natural gas? Number 2. In which mountain in the continent do we find maximum reserves of iron ore? Number 3. In which part of the continent are the reserves of magnesium located? Environmental Issues Industrialization, urbanization, increasing use of vehicles have given rise to a variety of environmental problems in Europe. These are as follows. Number 1. Air Pollution Industries and automobiles release harmful gases in the air, that is, atmosphere. This problem is severely felt in the industrial regions. In these regions, the problem of acid rains is also felt. For example, industrial belts of Manchester, Frankfurt, etc. Number 2. Water Pollution Rivers like Rhine, Danube, etc. as well as canals are heavily used for transportation. Due to the chemical effluence from industries as well as sewage from urban areas, the level of water pollution in rivers and seas is increasing. Number 3. Deforestation For agriculture and industry, vast tracts of forests are getting cleared. This is giving rise to problems of soil erosion, soil degradation, threat to the existence of wildlife, etc.